the scientific method. It's one way scientists use to solve problems. Now, a scientific method starts with questions. Our question is, where did this stain come from? From this question, we can kind of start to develop different ideas. We can ask more questions, or we can come up with what we call a guess. Scientists call this guess a hypothesis. Now, your class will come up with a hypothesis before you come to the museum. Some of you may think that the water stain came from the water clock, while others are convinced that it came from the boat build. There's only one way really to determine this, and that is use the scientific method to test your ideas. So once you come to the museum, you will go to different places and use science tools to test your idea. You'll collect data, make observations, and try to come to consensus to decide what is the support of your hypothesis. Now, consensus is a kind of a fancy word. Consensus means everyone has to agree. What we really hope is that you have lots and lots of discussion, and your discussion is based upon the evidence you find. It's okay to believe that your idea is right, but you need to listen to others and clearly respect their ideas before you make your final consensus or decision. Once you make your decision, you might have to change your hypothesis. Your data or your findings may or may not support your hypothesis. That's okay. It's still good science. It would be bad science if you decide to change your data or give up on your idea just because they don't match. You'll also be asked to come to a conclusion. The conclusion is what you think is the correct source of the stain. It could be the Dinosphere watering hole, or it could be the What If Aquarium tanks. That's up to you and your team of investigators, CSI investigators, to use the scientific method to find out. But hey, this is science. Don't take my word for it. Try it yourself.